All right, Axe. Song called Battle, CBT lesson for Bob. This is uh, video two. We are going into subgroup 14 in the guitar solo. And that's from 352 to 358, this little group. And it's on page five. And you go middle finger, five, G, slide to seven. Let me play the riff. Cool little riff there. So you're sliding to seven, six B, eight E. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Bend it a whole step, rest, bend it another half step. So it's stop it and then go six B hammer to eight vibrato, and then six B hammer to eight pull to six slide to five. It'll sound like this. A lot of technique, and then 6-5-B, slide to 1, pick 3 vibrato, so, oops, subgroup 15 is 359 to 404, fret hand mute the D and G, um, leading right into the 10th fret on the B string, and then 13-B, pull off to 10, 13B, bend a whole step and hold it. Drop the pinky to 13E. And then stop them. And then bend the 13B again with a uh, vibrato. So you have... Oops. So you don't release it after you go... You stop it here, then bring it down. Pick the 13B, bend it, vibrato. Go 10 on the E, 13 on the E, bend a whole step, and then we change pages. We go over to page 6, and pick the 13 E, and this might be a little tricky as well. It's a pre-bend, so you got to bend it a whole step first, stop it, pick the 13, pre-bend again, pick, release, so it winds up going... So you got to be pretty accurate on your bending because you, you don't get to hear it bend. you got to know by feel how to achieve that whole step. Then go 10E, pick, hammer 13, pull 10. 13B, 10E, 13B, whole step bend, vibrato. So it's... Pentatonic stuff. Then 10B... 13B, pull to 10. So you would go. And then this part, he kicks it into high gear. You, it's uh, seven times of this, this riff. It's a pentatonic riff. You've heard it probably. Slash has used it. A lot of players have used this one. And it sounds like this. And that's 13B, whole step bend. This is 405 to 408. Three seconds. And this is in there seven times in that amount of time. Bend it. Go to 10E. You don't want to release that bend. Upstroke on the 10E. So we're down on the B. Up on E. Down on 13B. Pull off to 10. You'll see double dots around that. In music, that means repeat, and it's seven times. Slow down, it's like this. Try not to go. You gotta stop that note at the whole step point. Boom, I'm doing that with this hand. Alright, so seven of those. Then uh, subgroup 17 comes in, 409 to 414. And that is this. stuff in there. 13G, down, 10B, up, 13G, down, but pull off to 12 and 10. So those five notes are 
1210G, 1210B, if you connected that, 12A, slide to 10, so it's the descending whole step slide, and then 8A, you're going to pick, hammer 10, pull to 8, hammer 10, slide to 12, 10D, 10G, just knuckle shift down, and 12D vibrato. Alright, so that takes us to subgroup 18, and this is 415 to 418, it's a short riff, uh, 10G, let me play the riff. And that's harmonized, there's a second and possibly third guitar harmonizing that, this is um, right in the area where you're at, so you, nothing quick here, 10, 12, 12 slide to 14, rest. 12, 10, 9, and then I set it up as kind of a solo guitar so you would have somewhere to go. After that 9, you're cutting into the part of the chord progression by going 3A, 5D. This is section 6, 419 to 428. And then do 3, 5 twice again and slide it to 5, 7. Then go 5D, 7G, 8B. It's a power chord with the octave. It's a little fuller sounding. And that's got a rest. And then you'll go like this. Uh, 3, 5, A, D. This is all A and D string. So 3, 5, A, 3, 5. I'm calling off the roots of the power chord. 3, 5, A, 3, 5. Remember what I said about trying to mute the underneath strings too. All right, then we have section seven, first guitar. There's a couple things going on here. 429 to 451, and it would be this: open A, 2D. They're all power chords. Let me play it first. So open two, three five, five seven, rest, then three five, rest, three three five three on your root, and then we're in drop D. So a power chord looks different here. Just uh, bar the fifth fret on the E and A, and then open A two D, three A five D. 3 for your root, 5 for the root, 8 for the root, and then 3 for the root, and 5 for the root. So that whole section once again, first guitar. takes you to the end of the song but then we have a second guitar over that it kind of builds into it actually like you would play that through one time and then go into this open a 2d 3a 5d 5a 7d and you're going to this so once you get to the 5a 7d you'll strum it palm mute it twice then don't palm mute rest Palm muted twice, don't palm mute. Palm muted twice, don't palm mute. So it's like a gallop. Then go 3A, 5D. You're gonna do the same concept. Two palm mutes, no palm mute. Again. Again. So we have. And then this chord, pretty cool chord here, bar the 5th fret, basically everything, goes 7 G with your 3rd, 8 B with your pinky, strum strings 5 through 2, and you're going to do that a second time, so it goes, then this part again, open 2, A, D, 3 for the root on the A, 5, 8, Three, five. So that part's a repeat. So you have or 
close enough to re, uh, repeat. Um, so that's kind of your second guitar through there. I would build it appropriately, you know, play, build up to it the same way Axe did, you know, to where we're the, at the end of it it's got more of that dun, 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 dun. and uh, all that's notated in the tabs. And then there's a second solo, it's, um, I think it was harmonized, here's your melody of it, 15 high E, third finger, do a whole step slide, this comes in at 513, basically till we're pretty much done here, but you'll go. So you do the 15, slide to 17, then go 15, 13, 12, then 13, 12, 10, then 8, short rest, hammer 10, pull 8, and then go to the 6, 8. So it's, oops, and then 8, E to 5, E. And then we go to page eight. This goes back to the clean. This uh, it's not necessarily a solo. It's just kind of how they're ending it. But six B pull off to five twice. Let it rest. Do it again. Rest. Do it again. And then hit the eight B. And that's uh, from five forty two, section eight, acoustic clean. So you got and that's it so um had fun doing it i think there is another song a, a piece of a song that someone re had requested from x um this is back from what i from what i understand kind of late 70s i don't know if this song was but i'm um, glad you made the request Thank you. I had fun doing it. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me. But everything's really self-explanatory in the tabs. You know, the fret hand muting, the hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, vibratos, um, all those things are notated in there for you. Remember the double dots are your repeats. So from, from these two dots to these two dots, you would repeat in there. It's all notated. If you still have questions, uh, you got my cell. You can text me or email me. All right. Thanks a lot, man.